Hi everyone, thanks so much for clicking on this video. We are the Foraging Family. Why we're called the Foraging Family is because every time we're in the outdoors, we always search for and learn more about wild, edible, medicinal plants. And today we're talking about one of my favorites because this is my favorite color, the dandelion. You probably have seen this on your front yard or in the parks, they're just popping up everywhere. And they will pop up because they are perennials. They survive the winter, they go dormant, and then you see them popping up everywhere in the spring. And this is such a beautiful, amazing plant. It is a weed, but all parts of this plant are edible from the petals on the flower to the roots. I love these flowers. So we are actually out picking some today, right? Stay tuned because we're going to show you amazing recipes, some very delicious ones. So I'm sure you guys will love it. All right, you guys ready? All right, let's do it. Dandelions have amazing anti-inflammatory properties, and this makes it awesome to use as an oil or a lotion. And that's what we're gonna make today. I went ahead and dried and washed and dried these dandelion flowers. I put them in this container and I'm gonna cover it with grapeseed oil. I'll cover it and put it in a dark place for about four weeks to infuse in the oil. Now I'm gonna take my African shea butter the infused dandelion oil, coconut oil, and two of my favorite essential oils that also have skin healing properties. And I'm gonna blend that all together and create my lotion. I've given this to family members and friends who had skin problems and they say that this lotion works wonders. For a complete recipe, look in the description box. Our next recipe calls for lots of dandelions. We're gonna pull the petals off of the stems, place about a cup of that in a pot, put a slice of lemon, and pour about two cups of boiling water over the petals. After steeping for about an hour, I'm gonna strain the mixture and put it back in the pot. I'm going to put two cups of sugar. You can use honey if you'd like. Then I'm going to mix that up and let it boil on low for about two hours. Finally, when it's ready, I'm going to ladle it into my sterilized jars. And this mixture is so delicious, you can put it on anything you would put honey in. My children love tasting the dandelion infused honey on top of their oatmeal, which we had with chia seeds, raspberries, and hemp seeds. It was a delicious addition to our breakfast. All parts of the dandelion are edible, including the roots. And you can go ahead and wash the roots, cut it up, and make a tea or something like a coffee substitute. Another way we love using dandelions is to decorate cakes and cupcakes. It was my daughter's birthday and we decided to decorate her cake with dandelions and she absolutely loved it. It added such a beautiful edible decor to this beautiful vegan cake. My daughter and I have also really loved wild crafting, so we've been using these flowers to make crowns and decorating our hair. It's been really fun and I would suggest getting dandelions with really long stems to help you make a beautiful crown, but I think it turned out pretty well. Woo! 
<laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed all the recipes. Stay tuned for some more farming, foraging, and faith. Even if you don't try any of these recipes, I just hope that next time you see these beautiful flowers, they make you smile. Have a good one, everyone. Bye.